What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about, or I'm gonna be going over some tips that help me stay motivated. I did do a poll on my Instagram if I should do, asking you guys if I should do a um, Q&A or how I stay motivated video. And Q&A did win overall, but not I didn't get enough questions to make a full video out of it. So I'm just going to keep that for like the near, near future. Um, and once I gather enough questions for the video, then I'll make a video. But as of right now, I wanted to do at least this video. Before I talk about them, I want to just let you guys know that motivation is not something you need to rely on like you cannot rely on motivation and I don't want this video to be like <sighs> super like I don't want this video to come off to you guys like I'm always motivated like that's not the case even I don't get mo even I don't always feel motivated but um just keep that in the back of your head as you watch this video like I don't want you guys to be like oh my god like I wish I could just be as motivated as you are and just wish these tips would have helped me. But honestly, these are just tips. Like, motivation is, you can't rely on it. And at the end of the day, you're going to have to have the discipline. You're going to have to have the determination. You're just going to have to have it in you to want to, to get somewhere. You're going to have to have it in you at the end of the day without having any motivation. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys that before I started. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the video. My first tip is to figure out why you want to go to the gym, write it down, set some goals, short-term goals, and that goes to my second tip, set some short-term goals, and they can be as small as just going to the gym, like just write down that you're going to go to the gym tomorrow, you're going to go to the gym at night, you're going to go to the gym in the morning, write it down, set some short-term goals. The short-term goals go such a long way. And at the end of the day, you're going to want to write some long-term goals as well. Like, where do I want to be in the next years with my fitness journey, with my health, with just bettering yourself? Where do I want to be? But as of right now, short-term goals would work way better to keep you on track. So that would be my second tip is to figure out what short-term goals you want to accomplish in like the next two days next week or well, maybe you want to go to the gym tomorrow um you want to try to make healthier choices like food wise instead of drinking soda you can drink um sparkling water you can drink water like those short-term goals go such a long way guys such long ways guys like you don't realize it until you look back at how far you've come so my first tip would be to figure out why you want to go to the gym my second tip would be to find out your short-term goals. My third tip is just really, this one has worked so good for me, is to feel good in what you're wearing when you're going to the gym. Like, you're going there to better yourself. You're going there to work on yourself, you know? You're not going there to impress anybody. You're not going there to compete with anybody, but you wanna go there because at the end of the day, you wanna feel good about yourself. So wear something that's gonna make you feel good. It's gonna help boost up that positive mindset. Buy some gym outfits, and I'm not talking about like the expensive one. You can find some nice clothes at like Ross, Burlington, um, anything that you will feel confident to wear, confident enough to do certain workouts, and you're just gonna feel yourself 110%. Like when you feel good in what you're wearing, you will like kill, murder that workout, and I know that because every time I feel good in what I'm wearing, like I murder my workout like two times harder than what I would if I wasn't really feeling myself. That would be my third tip. Make sure that you feel confident in what you're wearing to the gym. And what anybody thinks, honestly, most of the time people at the gym don't even know you're there. Like they don't pay attention to you. Everybody's in their own world. Everybody's just paying attention to what they're doing. And if somebody is looking at you and you notice it, just Keep doing your thing and because honestly people just at the end of the day might have just might just have staring problems and you can't fix it. My fourth tip would be to work out with a gym partner if you can. Like if there's somebody that you know would go to the gym with you and have the same goals, have sort of the same mindset, 
take them to the gym with you. Be like, yo, you want to come to the gym? Like, let's get this workout in. A gym partner is so helpful because you have somebody with you at the gym. I feel like it makes you feel comfortable. Having a gym partner can make you forget about all the staring, all the intimidating, and it really can boost up your workout as well. So having a gym partner is a huge tip of mine. When you're not feeling motivated, you need to have a partner that is gonna motivate you. Or if they're not feeling motivated, you need to motivate them. So that's a really good tip. And I know not everybody's gonna have a gym partner or they can't have a gym partner because just different lifestyles. At the end of the day, I just have to say, just do it. Just go by yourself if, you're, if you really, really have to. Just do it. My fifth tip is to create a playlist of all the songs that you, that make you feel pumped, that make you, that make you feel pumped, that boosts up your adrenaline, that just gets you excited to just move. And once I put my earphones in, turn up the volume, I am in my own world. Like nobody bother me. If you can say hi, I'm not mean. But like, what I'm trying to say is when once my earphones are in, my music is out loud, I am in my zone. Like, I blocked out everybody else and I'm doing my own. So, having that adrenaline boost and the pump just from listening to music is so motivating. Usually, I can't work out my, my earphones and I've done it before and it's just so dreading to me. But having my earphones in, it just zones everybody out and I'm just in my own world. My sixth tip would be to track, is to track your results. Now don't get too caught up on this scale. Let's say that you weigh yourself before you start working out and then in about two months you weigh yourself again and your goal was to lose weight but you stay the same or you even went up. Don't rely on the scale is what I'm trying to say because throughout your journey, throughout the two month journey that you were working out, you could have lost fat, but you could have gained muscle at the same time. So you're weighing the same or you're weighing more because that muscle is, I would rather track results by taking before and after pictures. And honestly, as long as you feel good in yourself, like as long as you feel good about yourself, that's all you need. This is a journey where you're trying to become a better you and not trying to worry too much about the scale because once you feel good about yourself, you really don't care about anything else like measurements or how much you weigh. The only time I think you should worry about like your weight, your measurements, or anything too technical like that is when you're competing. But other than that, if you're just doing it to feel better about yourself, just worry. Just track it by taking pictures and by how you're feeling. So my sixth tip would definitely be to track your results. Um, by before and after pictures. Those are one of my top six tips that have really helped me stay motivated. But again, I myself am not always motivated, but I just, I love working out. It's, I may not always be motivated to work out, but I'm still gonna work out. I'm not always motivated myself. And it just takes a lot of discipline, guys. Like you need to discipline yourselves and I am still working on that. Don't think that I'm like, disciplined at a hundred percent level. I hope that this video helped you guys understand a little bit more of why I stay motivated or how I stay motivated and I hope you guys try um, some of these out and if you do or if you already do um, let me know down below. Oh also I wanted to recognize the fact that I have gained a lot of subscribers in a short period of time and I know it's not like a lot but to me it really really is. I really want to say thank you to those who have subscribed and if you've stayed until the end of this video you are a real one and I appreciate you for that. If you haven't already and you like me so far go ahead and subscribe. With that being said guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace!